got another video by the Great Game Challenge's favorite YouTuber, Rebound! Woohoo! So, this isn't gonna be from the Rebound channel, it's gonna be from a second one called Touchdown. Touchdown! Okay, we're gonna be looking at Band NFL celebrations. Mm. I say we get right into it. Yeah, that's right, let's go, let's go. Alright, fire transition. And got some ridiculous fines that you won't believe. But touchdown celebrations play a huge role. In oh, Joe Cinco! Some players like oh, Jack go. constantly put on a show for fans after scoring. Or even like Joe Cinco for his unique after touchdown ways. With Chad Johnson constantly doing strange, outrageous celebrations, some cost him some unreal money. So it makes some people wonder. See, they're just having fun. You know, they, 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 they should, I don't think they should bet all celebration. No matter. Anytime you got a chance. In 2005, yeah, you take five thousand dollars for a celebration you did after catching a 54-yard touchdown against the Ravens. Let's see if this is bad or not. And prolonged celebrating after the touchdown, Chad grabbed one what of the do? pylons and used it as a golf club. I mean, oh, come, come on now. now. I mean, I, I say that. Hey, hey, what, what we should do? <laughs> yeah, just I'm gonna say. Yeah, say what we should do. We should say, okay, is this worth a fine or is it not? Like, right. Yeah. So I don't think that's worth it. Suddenly, he peeled off his helmet, got down on one knee, and took the hand of a Bengal. I mean. It is delayed game. To it. After the game, Chad was asked about the big proposal. It was delayed said, game. I should have proposed for real if I knew I was going to get that much attention. I had it arranged with the entire Bengals team. They practice on Tuesdays, and on Tuesdays, I'm here watching film. I saw them, and I told the captain, this is what I want to do. I told her about the celebration. I said, make sure you tell the entire team so whoever's in the arena, no matter what side of the field I score on, somebody would be there. So they all knew. It was cool. Although Chad didn't receive a fine, he was yeah. bashed by the league. And many non fans who thought the celebration was degrading and disrespectful to the cheerleader, but mm. this is just the beginning for Johnson. Right before Christmas in 2005, shortly after his golf putt and fake proposal, he decided to plan a crazy celebration that was going to shock the entire NFL. During the Bengals Christmas Eve game, Chad talked about his plan saying, On the highway, I hit a deer. I kept him. He's at home in the garage. I'm going to use him for the celebration this weekend. No, no. They might suspend me for the last game, but I think this one's worth it. But this Saturday, I'll be back to my old self. Please. You can look forward to the celebration being part of something that has to do with Christmas. It's going to be fun. Ouch. I might get in trouble, so I might as well let that out now. I might get in trouble for what I'm going to do, but it's worth it. This is going to be the greatest celebration of all time. Man, I actually use an animal. And as crazy as this celebration plan sounds, did Chad was being serious, and many it? people wanted him to fall through just to see what he was actually going to do. And after hearing lots of advice from people about the potential backlash he could get from doing something so crazy, he decided not to do it, which could have been a Ooh, wow. decision. In July of 2012, just a few weeks after that changing his name to Chad Ocho Stinko, in a game between the Bengals and Lions, Chad scored a touchdown and ran over to the bench to put on a poncho and sombrero that he brought prior to the game. The outfit was to match the new persona for Ocho Stinko, and as he got to the bench, he threw the gear on and walked around for a bit, showing off his new look and name. After the 23-13 went over the line, uh, Ocho Stinko that was okay. dollars for the celebration with the poncho and sombrero, but it didn't seem like Ocho Cinco was too worried about it. He said, that's okay. They keep jacking them up. I'll keep jacking up the celebrations. Chad also said that he set aside $100,000 in 2012 that's for ridiculous. celebrations. This much money could easily be spent on more productive things, but Chad spoke about how money isn't that big of a deal to him when he said, I play to have fun. I don't play for the dollar amount. Maybe that's why I think he wish he had that money now. Money. Maybe they'll get the point. I play to have fun, not for the money. Come on. Mm, what are you going to suspend me for? Having fun? I'm not that bad. Breaking news. Chad Ocho Cinco suspended for too many celebrations. How would that sound? I'm not hurting anybody. I'm very respectful with everybody I play against. With Randy Moss being known as an all-time I Let's see about Randy Moss. I've never heard of Randy Moss. Over the top with celebrations. Uh, he one was a good wide receiver. The receiver. The Vikings, and as we all know, and one time he said that he was the best wide so receiver of all the time. I don't know about that. In the Iron Bay in Minnesota, Randy Moss actually mooned the Packers fans in the crowd after scoring. During a 2005 intense playoff matchup between the Packers and Vikings, Randy Moss caught a 34-yard touchdown, which put them up 30-17 to late in the fourth quarter. Mm. After the touchdown, Moss ran over to the side of the goalpost and pretended to pull his pants down. Oh, no. Okay, like, that's worth it. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. And Moss was fined $10,000 for the uh, I feel like that's worth it. Moss never addressed the fine, but a few years ago, a reporter brought up that day to him, and Randy finally talked about it, saying, I didn't know I was really going to get that type of negative attention, or of course I wouldn't have done nothing like that. No, I've never done nothing like that in my career, but it's not like I pulled my pants down or anything like that. But like I said, if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't change it. Now Terrell Owens is getting another look. Okay, yeah, he's going to get some fine. He's an all-time great receiver, but his touchdown I mean, celebration I also him. caught a lot of attention. In 2007, after the Patriots were caught cheating by spying on other teams' practices and other yes, confidential right. things, Terrell took it upon himself to make fun of the Patriots during a win over the Dolphins. After catching a touchdown, T.O. hit behind the goalpost and pretended to act like he was spying on the other team. The main reason that he was spying was for using the ball as a prop and as well as the NFL finding out that he pre-planned the celebration in hopes that he would score
for a touchdown. Owens was fined $7,500 for his celebration, making fun of the Patriots, and after receiving a fine, Owens talked about it and said, it wasn't even the fact that I used the goalpost as a prop. They said I used the ball. It's kind of hard to understand the rules. It's like you can't That's do something. Like, it's like they're trying thing. to find any way to take the fun out of the game. So I'm kind of limited right now as far as what I can do. Nothing's worth getting a fine for. Yeah. Just a few months after his fine oh. became the Patriots spying scandal, Owens was fined again for yet another celebration that he did during a game against the Eagles. After catching a touchdown, Owens whipped out a personalized towel that he had made and started waving it around, which violated league's rules for oh, promoting anything on, other than NFL licensed gear. Owens ended up getting a $10,000 fine for waving his towel around after the touchdown, and when he found out he was being fined, he said, it's stuff like that. People try to make a big deal out of it. It's not any different than Chad Johnson going to the side. But they, they do have rules, rules now. You know, you have to follow they, the like, rules. They're like strict now than they were back yeah, then. Yeah. In 2012, the NFL decided to put a ban on any player using the football as a prop in celebration, and some of that stemmed from Chad Johnson or Ocho Cinco, who's often used the football as a prop every time he scored a touchdown. But in 2014, the NFL then put a separate ban on a certain celebration that they believe was getting out of hand. Thanks to tight end Jimmy Graham, who was still on the Saints back then, he scored against the Falcons and slammed dunked the football so hard in the goalpost that it completely bent the metal. Thankfully for Jimmy, the Lambeau Leap, which is a celebration burned into the Packers' history, will still remain a legal celebration, but the vice president of officiating talked about the recent bans on celebrations and said, we grandfathered in some, the Lambeau Leap and things like that, but dunking will come out. Using the ball as a prop or any object as a prop, whether that's the goalpost, crossbar, yeah. that'll come out and that will be a foul next season. Hall of Famer tight end Tony Gonzalez loved to do the dunking celebration in game, and, and he was one of the original entrepreneurs for in-game celebration. And this dunking rule was put into place right after he retired, and when he heard about the news, he tweeted and said, the NFL says no more dunking over the goalpost. This one I don't understand. Looks like I got out just in time. But many players over the years love to do this dunking celebration. Oh, man, I don't know about Calvin that. Johnson, That's kind of crazy. Not only did it plenty of times, but after they put the fine in play trying to ban the celebration, he even came out and said, I'm still going to dunk. I just won't touch the rim, referring to the goalpost. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell commented on the entire situation a few years ago and felt that any celebrations delaying oh, the man, this is crazy. Be against the rules and this dunking one had to go because of the damage and the rule he couldn't back <laughs> off. But the statement said, dunking falls under that category because of the possibility that the goalpost could be dislodged and require repairs. It also violates a rule that remains in place. Using it was the just when Shaq was breaking as as <laughs> in twenty fourteen after being popularized by tight end Tony Gonzalez and Jimmy Graham. Other than Calvin Johnson, Jimmy Graham, and Tony Gonzalez, we've seen many players attempt this over the years, including Donald nah, he ain't gonna die. legendary Drew Brees and, and even Devontae Adams, who threw down a one of a kind three six celebration. Now when Nate Burst was always wearing his emotion on his sleeve, I he got a hefty fine for wearing an ball. undershirt and showing it off during the game. On a Sunday afternoon game, See, that I don't understand like that's like a Nate brain Burst came out of the locker room for a pregame game and was spotted lifting up his jersey which underneath it had a white shirt with black writing nobody in the stands or tv was able to read what it said until he stopped and everyone saw it so like that because i guess like my name from wearing shirts that represent something other than the nfl or the lions but right but they, 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 they did this on contract ball into the stands so the nfl like that's not really that that i understand because like that's like brand that's like branding celebration they spoke about his actions and said it's spontaneous i didn't plan it i was very apologetic afterwards i ran over the head coach to the offensive coordinator to Special teams coach and to the special teams. Like, you can't just like, it's like someone like, someone up. Position. And with Adidas, but, but, but he's, 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 he's people people know he's people know When he had forgotten about AB being fined for nearly six figures back in 2016, due to his touchdown figures. celebration, just a few months after a huge fine for twerking in the end zone, Brown was fined yet again for a choreographed celebration uh, that he uh, had uh, uh, planned in case I remember the sport. twerking During thing. Thanksgiving night celebration, he was fined $20,000. Oh, 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 Spoke about the dance that a star receiver and running back did. I remember him doing the trick. We thing. all know Coach Tom was like, it up yesterday. Was that is a huge penalty, and we can't do that. We put our kick coverage team in a bad situation, and we can't have that. And AB knows that. In week one of the 2016 season, Antonio Brown caught a touchdown against the Redskins and instantly put his hands on his knees. And I, oh, wow. I remember that. I remember that. It shocked the fan base in Washington, but it also stunned the ref right there, who instantly threw a flag for us. <laughs> yeah. was $15,000 for his dance in the end zone, but I remember. Uh, about the fine. He said, I remember. That that the NFL released a statement about Antonio Brown's twerking being considered a sexual act when they said, We're going to send a tape out in the next well, week. Kind of like the Randy Moss moving the crowd, kind of. The key is, if it's a justified act, 
does something with a firearm or a bow and arrow or sexually suggestive acts, yeah. those are unsupported. Yeah, they, they, they don't need to be doing that's that. That's something that the officials will flag. That's direct from the competition committee. That's something that we're going to try to be as consistent as possible. And that exact situation are also like led to another crime. Google. Google. Not me, I watch well, they, they have to explain what the awesome stuff is. The the he was fined over $9,000 for the blue cleats that he was spotted in that night. Oh, really? He's been forced to pay up to forty, fifty thousand dollars I remember that Jordan was fined for wearing his own shoe. Would be worth over twenty-five million dollars? He can easily afford any fine that comes his way at this point. So yeah, but you don't need that money once you retire. That's what people don't understand. You can have fun out of your own too, but one day you will retire, and then you know if you don't save your money, you're just blown. I do remember one time. And I was like, this was this isn't NFL. This is basketball. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a celebration, but it was a it was like kind of similar to Antonio Brown's when he like got fined for the red sh the blue shoes. Right. I I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think this did happen, but Michael Jordan got fined for wearing his Jordan shoes because of like the color. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. It was like, we, we have to probably do some research and, and look at it. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. I, I, I think that he got, like, fined about... I know he got fined for his shoe. I just don't know what it was about. Right. Well, we can bring it up in the next episode, and then... Because uh, we're going to do another episode, and then we can find out some details and we'll see. All right. Well, and anyway, guys... Well, thank y'all for watching. Uh, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And once you're done, make sure to... Comment down below. I subscribe so you can reply to your comment, and we'll see you guys and, next time. Exactly. And if we don't get a chance to reply back to what we're going to be doing research on, if you go ahead and do your research, comment down below and let us know, you know, um, what's going on, okay? Did he get fined for wearing uh, some shoes or not, okay? You sh um, tomorrow, you should be expecting episode six oh, of the Great Game Challenge News, baby! Six, 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 six. Actually, maybe not tomorrow. Sometime. Right. Anyway, we will see you guys next time. Enjoy. Have a nice day. Thank you. We see y'all. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Woo One, two, three, let's go. Rose was truck, but my winners ain't tenant. Trap house jumping like a winners or a dentist. Woo. He ain't stopping. I just